Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt here with Tanks Lawn Maintenance. It is Friday morning. Finally Friday. It is September the 8th, 2023rd year of our Lord. And it is 7.51 a.m. On the way to my first one. Just left the gas station. I don't need gas and none of the equipment. Just the truck, man. My truck was running on fumes. Took the day off yesterday. It was my daughter's 16th birthday. We did buy her a car. I had a lot of errands I had to run yesterday. Had a lot of things to do in preparation to try to be ready for people to come and visit. So, no work got done yesterday, but it's all good, man. I was all caught up anyway. And today I've only got six on the list. Two of those are right side by side no barriers in between the two it's a rental properties same lady owns them so it's basically like one big yard and then i've got another one that's probably a two acre yard so it's another big yard so i guess you could say i've got five on the list today but one of them is a brand new property and when i did the walk around the property to give the quote it was pretty clean you know i mean it had been maintained but the lady had was just tired of the just sick of the quality that the uh, last landscaper was providing and the contract was up so she called me and asked me to come out there and take care of it for her. so that's what I'm doing but anyway guys uh, I don't know if it affected any of y'all or not but some of you may have noticed about the whole cash app thing yesterday I don't know if any of y'all accept Cash App or Venmo or PayPal or Zelle or anything like that in your business, but I do. I don't accept Zelle, but I do accept Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo, along with various other things. I do money order cash and um, online payments. So and I do accept checks from very few customers, just people that I know and trust. But, um, let me know in the comments below if that affected y'all or not. I don't know what to expect. I didn't do any work yesterday, so nothing really affected me yesterday. But I'm wondering how it's going to go whenever I go to transfer the funds from Cash App into my business account. Because that's what I do. I, I wait to the end of the week and I'll have several hundred dollars built up in my Cash App. And I'll transfer it all over to my business account. And also another thing I found out yesterday is that uh, our president canceled all leases on land in Alaska to drill for oil. And I could be mistaken. I try. I don't. I, you know. I don't. I don't get into politics a whole lot because I think it drives a wedge between everybody. And I look at the man as as his. I, I judge his character, not not his views. And uh, I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about each individual man. I, I judge everyone by their character, not their view, not their political views. And um, so I don't talk about politics a whole lot. But and I could be mistaken on this. I don't really know, so I don't want to say for sure. But if I'm not mistaken, I think he canceled all the leases on on any land in Alaska to drill for oil. And um, it's been all over social media. My wife told me about it and said she heard about it on the radio on the way home from work yesterday. And if I, you know, don't quote me on this, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the I think Alaska is the only place in the United States where we can drill for oil. I don't think we can do it up in the North Midwest anymore. And uh, and I know that the Keystone Pipeline was shut down. So I'm just wondering how that's going to affect us. And uh, I don't know about y'all. I know a lot of y'all run battery-powered equipment. I haven't made that jump yet. I hadn't really planned on it. I've thought about it just to keep me from going to the gas station every single day. But I'm not ready to pull the trigger on something like that yet. So, but just wondering about all these things. You know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. But... There's just a lot of things going on at one time in the world in general, not just 
not just in politics here in the United States, but in the entire world, you know, there's there's a lot of things going on at the exact same time. And it just makes me wonder what, what's going on and what's the agenda behind all this. And um, you're going to have a hard time making me believe that all this is done by coincidence. And uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to get into politics, not trying to piss anybody off or anything like that. And that's just my opinion. And, uh, I'm just curious what y'all's thoughts on this are, man. But, uh, I will say this. I know everybody's talking about going to a digital currency, the, uh, and the central bank digital currency. I do see that coming sooner or later. And I, I think that's going to be something that we have no choice on. That we're going to have to go to a digital currency once the uh, American dollar collapses and I do believe the American dollar is going to collapse and uh, I don't I don't think there's any turning back from what from what we've gotten ourselves into as a nation e economically but I mean because if you you know let's face it man the the American dollar is just worthless but uh but this is one of the reasons why I think that we shouldn't go to all digital currency or electric money whatever you want to call it i think there still needs to be some cash flow or paper checks or whatever you whatever you want to call it and uh i'm not a i'm not an economic wizard i know how to take care of my own finances and my family but you know everybody's different everybody's situation is different and i completely understand that and i respect that but just curious what y'all thoughts are on all this man but anyway, guys, I uh, got a phone call from Harry's yesterday. They, you know, the that truck didn't make it in Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday. That truck didn't make it in Wednesday, but it did come in yesterday, first thing in the morning, and they called me. I was washing my daughter's car, and I had to cut my own grass and uh, do some last-minute touches on that side job I did in my backyard but I went by there around lunchtime yesterday picked up the trimmer head threw it on there this morning before I loaded the trailer up and uh so I'm anxious to get that back out there and you know the thing about the echo is I echo's good stuff I'm not knocking it at all and uh, I do plan on making the switch from steel to echo it's just for one I don't want to do it right now because it's fixing to be fall and winter and I don't want to go out and spend a couple grand on uh, handheld equipment A when it's about to be winter time and I'm not gonna have a whole lot of revenue coming in and B because a lot of the steel stuff that I have is still good and I want to use it and get get my money's worth out of it I don't want to just dump it all off and go out and buy all new equipment but I do man, plan on making that switch, but the thing about it is, man, I've got to, I've got to get used to that echo, man. I'm used to the power, you know. I'm used to a steel, and the thing about the steels, especially the ones I've been running, I'm used to something where you can feel the power when you're holding it in your hands, and um, I'm used to the weight of the uh, of the tools and everything else, and. You know, the Echo is good stuff. It just throws me off. I'm not used to it yet. And, um, but I do like the, uh, 2620. That's the first time I've ever ran that trimmer. And I've been running it the past two days on properties that I maintain and plus my own yard. But, what do you guys use? Do y'all use Steel, Echo, Red Max, Shindawa? Whatever it may be. But, anyway, guys. I hope it's going to be a fantastic Friday for each of you. I hope y'all kill it out there. For those of y'all that are done for the week, man, enjoy this rest. Get you plenty of it. Spend some time with your family this weekend. Watch some football, eat some chicken wings, drink some beer. Go to church Sunday. If you hadn't been going to church, go to church Sunday, man. It could be life-changing for you. But anyway, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm almost to my first property. Y'all are out there. Stay hydrated. And y'all have a terrific day. But until the next one, y'all keep cutting that grass and keep making that money. All right, y'all.
APA